Terra is a blockchain built for e-commerce. In 2021, its price was multiplied by 70 and the value locked in Terra is surging. So what is Terra? How does it work? And how to start building on it? If you are new here, I'm Julian and on the blocks I teach blockchain development. Terra was founded in January 2018 by Daniel Shin and Do Kwon, two experienced entrepreneurs. The native token of Terra is called Luna. It has a maximum supply of 1 billion token and is the 11th biggest crypto with a market cap of $18 billion. Terra is a proof of stake blockchain built with the Cosmos SDK. There are only 130 validators, which doesn't make it very decentralized. What makes Terra special is its ability to issue stable coins pegged to a fiat currency like USD, which is pegged to the dollar. These are algorithmic stable coins. Every time the price of the stable coins goes above or below the target, there are arbitrage opportunities exploited by market participants that readjust the value of the token. It's important to note that with these stable coins, the more they are used, the higher the value of the Luna token. The most famous project on Terra is Chai, a Korean mobile payment app that is used on Timon, one of the biggest e-commerce platforms in Korea. Another interesting project is the Encore Protocol, a staking app to stake from multiple POS blockchain. And there is also TerraSwap, a decentralized exchange on Terra. Currently, Terra has over 2 million users. On Terra, smart contracts are written in Rust. For testing, you can use the local Terra testnet. To interact with smart contracts on Terra, you can use one of the two SDK, one in JavaScript and the other one in Python. And for users, the official wallet of Terra is called Terra Station, available on mobile and as a Chrome extension. So is it worth it to pay attention to Terra? Algorithmic stablecoins like the one we have on Terra are very difficult to censor because there is no central issuer. This is especially important at a time when regulators become more and more concerned with stablecoins. I also really like the traction that Terra has in e-commerce with the Chai project. What do you think of Terra? Are you going to start building on top of Terra? Let me know in the comments down below.